Today, I would like to tell you a story. The story of the lone wolf that crossed the finish line. Today, few will stand against many. One man will count as 20. And Finland will change world history forever. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do here is shift, left click, and then dumpster 17 of these divisions so that we have one division left. We're going to be using Mannerheim as our field marshal, of course, and Heinrichs as our first general, and then we'll start to train. Okay, we have to stay non-aligned for this build, so go ahead first with finish neutrality. Go ahead and leave comments down below if there's any improvements that you would make. In the description box, you're gonna find the focus tree build as well as the political power buys, so you could follow along in many different ways. If this content is helpful to you, please consider subscribing. I spend a lot of time on these builds and I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, research will be pretty standard. In this build, we're actually gonna have to go to construction four in order to unlock a lot of our focus tree as well as computing machines. It's kind of interesting. They make you work for it quite a bit to get down to those more OP focuses, which I actually enjoy quite a bit. We're gonna build two sieves in this 60 infrastructure area over here. Our production will be set up like so. Note that I've applied MIOs here without military factories. In my testing, these fall off as soon as they get military factories. So bear that in mind. It doesn't appear that you get these MIOs for free. We're not gonna be training any divisions yet. Go ahead and set your occupied territories law to the default template being horse, and then set your law to civilian oversight. Just note that we do have a mini game here and the first leader that we have, we're going to be cycling through leaders is going to fall off on his own. So you can ignore this for the first portion of this build. Okay, our second focus is going to be political unity and we're going to be able to pick up an advisor here who's going to give us 200 weekly manpower and that's going to be critical to this build. Okay, once you achieve 100 political power, go ahead and ban fascism and then we're not going to have to worry about fascist support. Okay, the first research that we picked up is electronic mechanical engineering now let's just go to mechanical computing hey we just picked up political unity and we now have the priest advisor available to us that will give us our weekly manpower let's go ahead and pick him up the next thing that we're going to pick up is align the agrarian league for more political power and it will also help with public trust Okay, we've aligned the Agrarian League. Now let's go ahead to finish Swedish People's Party and we can pick up an advisor here. We'll pick up the Agrarian Nationalist. Consumer Good Factory is negative 10 and we actually shouldn't see another sieve in the, constru in the construction queue here, as you can see. A okay, basic machine tool is going to go into Dispersed Industry 1. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our Field Marshal to Unyielding Defender Organization first. And then our General, we're going to give him Adaptable. That's right. He has adaptable available turn one as well as winter expert. So we're going to be really good during winter, winter battles. As you can see, we're grinding army XP at 0 0.065 a day. Not bad. And we just picked up the Finnish Swedish People's Party. We will go the railways and infrastructure badge next and work our way down to repurpose small industries for another negative 10% consumer good factories. And then we will pick up the traditionalist theorist to get that unaligned support as well as political power gain. Uh, the thing that's going to happen here is the communists will start to pressure us and we're going to get a lot of communism support eventually, but we'll get rid of that. Okay, just keep going down the line with construction. Our fourth political power buy, we're going to go increase our economic law to partial mobilization and we go from four to five sieves. Okay, we've repurposed small industry. Now we're going to go ahead and enhance Southern infrastructure. We just picked up a mechanical computing and we're going to roll into dispersed industry two, as well as improved machine tools. The limiting factor with this build is going to be manpower. It's not going to be equipment. So don't stress too much about your economy. We're going to join the anti common turn pact. Okay, we just picked up enhanced Southern infrastructure. Now we're going to go work down to the radio tests here, starting with industrial development. Okay, with our fifth political power by we're going to pick up the chad carl mannerheim who's going to grind a lot of army experience for us we now have 20 army experience and we're going to go ahead and pick up political loyalty for the stability modifier okay, we could get 
construction three it's a bit ahead of time let's go ahead and do the computing machines instead so that we don't suffer that ahead of time penalty we'll pick it up a little later our first leader is going to be removed and we're going to pick up Kaleo and he is going to give negative communist support. So it's kind of nice. OK, we're going to need to alter this division template just so that as we're training, we don't burn support equipment needlessly. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that and remove the support equipment from that template and then save, make it reserves and then go ahead and change this template to the template we just created. The next thing that I like to do just so that I don't forget about it is is take out the support equipment on the cavalry occupation template and set that to reserves. All right, we built two civilian factories. Now let's go ahead and start building military factories. Yeah, we just picked up improved machine tools. A few days came off construction three, but on its own, let's go ahead and grind that out ahead of time. All right, eventually we're gonna need an air force. So let's go ahead and pick up Sarko here to start grinding air experience all right we've completed our radio test now let's go ahead and pick up the bank of Holland, and we should apply the bonus that we just received so you click off of computing machines and then back onto it to apply the bonus okay we just completed dispersed industry two and now let's go ahead and pick up the first interwar artillery applying the mio okay, we could go ahead and pick up a military theorist with our next 100 political power yeah, at this point we can pick up a professional officer corps all right we picked up the bank of Holland. now let's go ahead for the power plant okay we just picked up the power plant giving us some resources in a sieve. Now let's increase the military budget. Get one military factory there. All right, we have 200 political power. Let's go ahead and pick up the artillery genius. Artillery attack, 20%. Defense, 15. Excellent advisor. Okay, we've increased the military budget. Now let's go for this badge right here. M Male Viamat. Okay, we picked up interwar artillery. Now let's go improved artillery, applying the MIO. Okay, we have another 50 army XP. Let's go ahead for static warfare. All right, we have enough mills to complete all the construction that we had set forth. Let's go ahead and increase the guns, support equipment, artillery, like so. And then we could start applying MIOs to each of these equipment types. Convert from stockpile. And then it looks like we have to wait. We have to wait until we have enough army XP to apply all the MIOs. And we will take a political power debuff, but we will start increasing the research on the MIOs. So that's good. Yeah, we have our first upgrade to one of our MIOs and it is the artillery one. I like to go rapid fire, soft attack 10%, pretty OP. Make sure that you apply this to the MIO. It looks like the artillery one was applied but the toad anti-air did not upgrade so let's just go ahead and upgrade that and we just picked up computing machines now let's go ahead and pick up improved computing machines okay now let's uh, get the extra research slot here as well as another electronic research bonus that we can apply to radio later and okay, now i'd like to show you the template that we're going to be using here and it's going to be 15 width and then we're going to put in support aa support artillery and then we're going to get a few other companies that we'll add in later like field hospitals but let's just start with this. All right, we're going to pick up our second genius, the army regrouping genius, and you're going to see this guy shine. As soon as you're out of org and out of combat, that org pops right back up. It's excellent. All right, let's transition into defense industry right here. That's going to give us a sieve and a mill as well as some steel. We did pick up that extra research slot. Let's go ahead and apply that to radio just to get that out of the way. You go to war without radio, you're going to fail this build right away. OK, our next political power buy will be concealment expert as we are going to go no air for the first part of this build. And then let's keep on taking artillery upgrades and applying the MIO. We have 100 air XP. Go ahead for industrial liaisons and centralized control as you're going to be capped out on army XP when it hits 500. Okay, defense industry will turn into the alcohol company that will allow us to make Molotov cocktails here for the 25% heart attack and 100% piercing. Quite good. Okay, we just picked up radio. Now let's go advance machine tools. All right, the next badge we're going to pick up is National Unity. Okay, our construction queue is empty. And at this point, what we need to start doing is building up our infrastructure a little bit. We're going to go ahead and build two infrastructure right here. And what that's going to do is give us an extra two civilian factories from this focus tree badge right here 
here, Voima. It says, add two building slots in one civilian factory and up to five fully controlled core states with at least three levels of infrastructure. So it's quite a good one. Okay, we have another upgrade to the infantry equipment MIO and we'll go for the soft attack. Be sure to apply this in the production screen. We've got a little extra PP. Let's go ahead and entice the masses and that's going to increase our non-aligned support and give us extra stability. So it's not bad. Okay, after national unity, we're going to get a... 10% recruitable population factor from Arm the Lotus Vard. Okay, we just got construction three. Let's go ahead of time for construction four, which should be aided quite a bit from the 8% research speed we're gonna get from improved computing machines. Okay, our construction queue is empty once again, and we need to upgrade our rails moving towards the Soviet front. So we're gonna shoot for a level of three coming out of Helsinki here. Try not to build infrastructure that you don't need. We're going to go ahead and connect this infrastructure all along the line. I'm intending to not lose one tile to further these rails along the front line up here to Petsamo. The next thing we'll do is we'll just start our land forts. Petsamo area is kind of a hotbed. You want to make sure you get enough forts up there as well as Karelia next to Leningrad here. They like to push this area right here. So be aware of that. And then just put level one forts along the whole of the front and then we could add a few in the middle here. They also push pretty effectively in the middle. Okay, improved artillery upgrade is going to go into improved artillery upgrade two, applying the MIO. Can kind of get the theme here. Okay, let's go ahead and get those sieves from found the Voima. Okay, we currently have 12 sieves in our construction queue that grows to 16. So that's quite good. Okay, we're going to go back over to the left here. Union of Finnish Brothers in Arms for more recruitable population factor. And then we can go ahead and pick up the construction company that is going to boost a railway construction speed. Okay, let's go disperse to industry three. And it's January 1939. So we are going to stop training. Let's change this division back to our base template. And then let's go ahead and train as much as we can here. Get those guys out. War is going to be around August to November of 39. It's kind of a bit of RNG when they attack. It okay, will go ahead and set up a front line with a field marshal battle plan shift left click and then go ahead and just point towards moscow okay we're gonna pick up parmy's devils and we'll pick up one penal division which doesn't sound great but it is 18 width and they will come out with a lot of experience so this is critical getting just that one extra division okay we just picked up improved computing machines now let's go ahead and pick up the advanced truck so that we could get the field hospitals okay we just picked up parmy's devils now let's go for extra refresher exercises and there's our devil okay we have another MIO upgrade. Let's go ahead with stable platforms and upgrade the defense 3% there to artillery. And then we need to apply this designer. It gets a little tricky here. We need to find the gun and then upgrade with five army XP. Put that into production, convert from stockpile. And then you, the toad AA for some reason is already upgraded, but you can put that in there too. Okay, it's currently April. I'm just going to kick these guys out and then train some more troops. And we can exercise them a little bit to get them up to where they're full. Just go ahead and put that in the army. Put the army on exercise. Okay, let's go ahead and set our motorization priority to full there. And it looks like none of the divisions are out of supply. So that's quite good. Okay, they all have their XP back. Let's go ahead and turn off the exercise. Okay, after extra refresher exercises, we're going to go ahead with the cold front. Okay, let's start working on infantry equipment applying the mio every place that we can we have plenty of political power there's no need to not apply the mios okay the cold front will transition into winter warfare okay it's august 1st and just to be on the safe side let's kick out all the divisions that we can we're gonna have to start a second army here and then we'll give the ranger and the defensive guy we'll make him general and then put the rest of the divisions down here in turku we have three spares now as war starts this demilitarized zone is going to go away and then the tricky part is we're going to need to move one of the divisions across it usually gets caught out by the soviet submarines so we're going to need to put this navy on convoy escort and then we're also going to need to do that immediately and hopefully the soviets don't get their subs up if all we need to do is make it across most of the equipment and manpower will be lost but as long as the division makes it across it'll resupply 
the main problem with Holland is the fact that we don't start off with transport. So if we lose an island, it could be pretty tricky to get that island back. Okay, we just picked up the upgraded truck. Now let's go ahead for field hospitals to conserve our manpower. It looks like we have another unlock. We'll go ahead and unlock production cost negative 5%, rel reliability negative 7. Trucks come out pretty quickly. So even if we lose some to reliability, it shouldn't be a big deal. And then here's our upgraded truck here. It looks like we also need to upgrade the MIO and then apply the truck. Okay, we're going to utilize the Sammy. Okay, the Soviets demand Karajala. Let them come if they dare. Just know that war will be upon us here. Let's go ahead with the improv expert on that general. And then we're going to put all these guys, take them out of the battle plan. And let's just check our front here real quick. We got two up here for fast reaction forces. Let's go ahead and put up a second div up there. And then these guys are kind of like attritioning. Let's just have him sidestep to that area. And then this area holds pretty well. Let's take one of the divisions and post them up over here and then over here because they do push quite well right here. I think they have a railroad that connects from this side. Okay, we'll utilize the Sammy and now we need to rush down to the Lone Wolf. World Tension is is over 50%, so we will reach out to Scandinavia. Okay, for our next MIO upgrade, we're gonna go semi-auto rifles. It's gonna improve our soft attack and breakthrough quite good. For a production efficiency hit that we don't really need. As you can see, we're full production efficiency, so it's not really gonna matter. Let's go ahead and put in Winter Logistics Company into our base template here. Sneak it in at the end. Before I forget, I want to upgrade our Doctrine as much as possible. And this will give us some more planning bonus before war. Probably should have done this a little earlier. The Doctrine is going to be critical to hold out here in the early days. Okay, the Winter War just started. Cut them to pieces. So we're going to get recruitable population factor there. And you want to pause at this point because there's several things we could do. First off, we could go total mobilization. It's like we're lacking in stability. Let's go ahead and form a military government. And and this is going to give us Mannerheim, more recruitable population. Should be able to go women in the workforce now because now our stability increased. The last thing that we're going to need to do here is go ahead for extensive conscription and we might as well pick up the, uh, the commerce rating specialist the expert there. And then, as I said, we want to get these guys across turn one. The demilitarized zone is gone. Make sure that you hold Helsinki. And then these two other divisions should come out fairly quickly. We'll see. We have several pain points along the front here that we need to address. It's like the first one is going to be down here. You're going to have to keep on yo-yoing back and forth across the line until you get this right. But essentially, you don't want to... You want to hold everything. You don't want anything to fall. Uh, where you'll get tripped up is one of these divisions will kick out and then you're going to have to immediately put it back, but you could miss it. So you constantly have to be scanning the front. As you can see here, the subs did catch out our convoys and we're defending. Let's hope that they can get across. Okay, we lost two convoys. Let's see if that guy can cross. He did. Okay, so as you can see, most of the equipment is gone. Our snipers are proving highly effective. Let's hand out more arms to the hunters. Simo Haya, credited as the White Death. So he's uh, doing some work here. What I like to do is go for the second. Winter attrition, negative 20%. Division defense on core territory, 5%. Attack against major countries, 10%. And we get that for 180 days. Okay, now that we're kind of ready to go on the offensive, we're going to pick up Jaeger movement in Mahdi tactics. And the Mahdi tactics should give us, let's see, organization loss when moving negative 15% and attacking division speed 10%. So that's going to be quite good. Okay. Finish peace demands. It might be time for peace. Unlocks decisions, demand peace negotiations to Soviet Union. So we'll go ahead and do that and see what we get here. Demand peace negotiations with the Soviet Union. Gets event finished territorial demands for peace. Effects, if they accept, we get a white peace. The Soviet Union accepts our peace demands. Claims lost by Soviet Union becomes owner and controller of Kulan Niemima. Okay, so it looks like we got this territory up north, but we could have gotten this one, this one, and this one. 
Okay, guys, this is future ESG. And as you can see here, this is how I far I got in this build. And just note that if you push further into the Soviet Union, you can get more cores before you move on with the build. It is quite easy to scuff this build. As you can see, uh, this one got scuffed because they were able to take Oland out. So thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. This took me a long time to get this far. I'm going to keep on playing this and I might even live stream the achievement run it's just very difficult to film these videos on iron man because if you just lose one of these states the games up and uh, just note that you can actually allow the soviets to land and take over provinces but you cannot lose the greater state to them so you can lose up to like 49 percent of the provinces inside of the state the state is denoted here in yellow without the soviets actually taking a quote-unquote state from you do note that all Holland is its own state. See the yellow border. So if you lose Holland, the game's up and uh, the achievement run is over. But I do want to do this. Watch out on YouTube for my live streams and uh, we'll have a lot of fun live streaming and hopefully I can do it. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.